There is no better icebreaker than a lady named Cotter. The history behind this boat is phenomenal. In a city rich with history, one of Buffalo's finest can be seen traveling the waters of the Buffalo River on any given day of the week. The Edward M. Cotter Fireboat, in all her glory. Engine 20 of the Buffalo Fire Department is turning a century old next year. The Cotter is the oldest active fireboat in the nation. It's uh, fought a lot of fires. It's a historical landmark on the National Register. Captain Tom Schultz pilots the Cotter along with Mike Higgins. Everything's fine. Built in 1900, the Cotter's job these days is keeping Buffalo's waterfront free of ice jams. And the weight of it's 200 tons. And uh, as you'll see here, this is all virgin ice. We haven't been through it yet. This lady in red cuts through winter's coat of ice with ease. Routine, yet vital because it prevents ice jams up the river that could cause flooding in nearby communities. Without us, uh, South Buffalo, West Seneca, all the way up to Alma and all that, would, it would flood. When she's not breaking up ice, the Cotter is fighting fires with her giant water guns that blast 15,000 gallons per minute. That's the equivalent of 10 fire trucks. That's right, Roger. Uh, we're going to make a swing around and uh, head back to the Michigan Bridge. She's the slowest piece of firefighting equipment in Buffalo, traveling at speeds of 11 to 13 miles per hour. She works hard, and uh, we take care with her, but uh, she works hard. As her hull cuts through 18 inches of ice under the Michigan Avenue lift bridge, miniature glaciers are left in her wake. It's just another day along the Buffalo River. It's a long, I guess, boring process. It just takes time, that's all it does. The Cotter has proven she can withstand the test of time. In Buffalo, Luke Moretti, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.